be ready and know your customers in great detail because you will have to address them in the way that they're going to get accustomed to being addressed in 2025. So I see 2025 as being the year of personalization through AI. So again, I enabling more advanced personalization, including user experience uh, improvements uh, and, and incorporating feedback uh, from, from the customer as well into how they want to be treated, how they want to be known. And so all this goes into a massive profile that's incorporating things that they're aware of and, and uh, they're not aware of and, and bringing in third party data and so on. So other than that, uh, I think that's a huge trend. Uh, also efficiency in all of, all the things that we do. So we're, if we don't know where to apply gen AI in our organization, I think looking at your processes and how you can make them more efficient is, is probably the way that a lot of enterprises are going to go and, and they will achieve that, I think in the next year. Dave, same question for you. What's the future hold? I wish I knew. Uh, what I tend to say to my classes is a quote from Charles Darwin, which I just brought up on my screen here. It's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Well, it's certainly a time for change. Durgat, lead us into your future thoughts. Yeah, I mean, again, this may be, I mean, I might as well say future is already here in the sense that uh, what we are seeing is that AI, Gen AI, especially changing from, okay, you asking a question and getting an answer to now this concept of AI agents who can act, which can actually perform actions on your behalf, can actually reason about or divide the question uh, into multiple tasks and perform, take actions as, as needed. I think uh, the agent AI architectures are just getting started and um, uh, the, uh, the possibilities are really endless. Thank you for that, Ryan. 2025 is the year of agents. Yeah, I'm surprised agents didn't come that's up it. earlier, right? Yeah, so here it. we are that's almost to know we're in. They are a very hot topic. What a yeah, I, I, feedback. I feel like a lot of vendors. Yeah, I feel like a lot of vendors have, have rushed out kind of, I'll call it like beta versions of platforms in, in, in 2024, um, testing with, with early customers. Some vendors will argue that they have hundreds of customers using their agent platform. I would push back on that and say maybe they have a dozen. Um, but 2025 is going to be how do we roll out these platforms to a you know version 1.0 of an enterprise grade agent platform that a lot of enterprises can then start to use to, to automate or accelerate or augment all types of, of workflows throughout the, the, the enterprise. So 2025 is the year of agents. Um, we'll have a conversation this time next year to see, see how it went. It has been an interesting race. As an analyst, I get briefed by software companies multiple times uh, a week. And the first cust uh, company I saw that talked about agents last year, uh, they had six and they were really pretty smart ones. And I liked them. Uh, the next one had 25. The next vendor had 50. And the last vendor was a huge vendor who renamed their uh, annual event uh, to agent something or other and talked about having hundreds of agents. So yes, it's a, uh, it's an interesting time. John, one of the things agents rely upon is kind of domain language models, small language models. But I, I, I know that's a topic that you're interested in, but what do you see the future bringing around that? Yeah, I'm going to go back to go forward. You know, the, the whole topic of ethics is driving this forward. You know, the large language models and all those things will be here. They're, you know, they're going to be background noise. They're going to be commodities. But you know, if people are really concerned about the ethics of using data, they're gonna be building their own small language models or domain language models. We're already done it, it's, it, you can do it, it happens, it works, it's, it's really good, good to do and, and exciting to do. But everybody's, you know, the last three people that brought it up, absolutely, 2025 is the year of agents. Agents everywhere, you know, and, and uh, yeah, we've taken three of those vendors that you've talked about and we've used their tools and, they're not great. So, you know, there, there are at least 150 vendors out there right now saying they have agent frameworks and multi-agent frameworks. We've taken a number of our AI, Gen AI applications and have rebuilt them into agents. Uh, it's going to be big. There is no process in the business world, academic research world that can't be improved with agents. So um, happy to come back in a year 
and see where we actually are in the agent ecosystem. That's going to be an interesting conversation. But this year, it's all going to be about agents.